Hi guys, uh, we are missing our tiny tails folks while you guys are home and we just wanted to bring some tiny tails to your living room today and hopefully brighten your day just a little bit and we cannot wait to see you guys when we open back up. So today I uh, have an art background so I thought we would start with colors since it is springtime and all kinds of new colors are popping up. Um, we'll talk about something you can do at home after we finish this book and our little activity that we're going to do today. So let's get started. So we're going to read Dr. Seuss's Book of Colors. You can see yellow. Do you see yellow? I see some yellow. You can see blue. You can see other colors too. Green eggs and ham. I don't know. Have you guys ever had any green eggs and ham? I haven't. Red hat, Sam, I am. Blue turtle, gray rock. Green bird on pink clock. Red stripes, red tie. Green book, blue sky. Orange duck, blue goo, Ew. green grass, pink shoe. Wonder who that shoe belongs to. Brown hat or brown suit, brown hat, green umbrella, pink mat. Orange nink, green sink, yellow nink, pink drink. Wonder if it's pink lemonade. Yummy. Yellow truck with purple pots. Brown beast with white spots. What kind of beast do you think that is? Looks kind of like a camel to me. Red fox, blue socks. Yellow knocks in orange box. Purple fish in purple tree. Blue wings on yellow bee. That's a funny looking bee. Brown camel, pink wall. Red bat, blue ball. Yellow chicks, orange blocks. Brown bricks, blue clocks. Those little chicks are talented. They can hold those bricks and clocks on their head. Red clothes, blue hair. Gray hat, green chair. Yellow sneech, green star, purple jelly in a jar. Yum. Blue hoses, pink roses, brown owl on noses. Right side up or upside down, color, color all around. Look at that, there's all kinds of colors. <clears throat> All right, that's the end of our book. All right, guys, we're gonna do a fun activity today where we mix up colors, just using some simple things that you might have around your house. All right, so we just read Dr. Seuss's book of colors. So we're gonna do a fun little color mixing activity. So all we're using today is some red, yellow, and blue food coloring. And then we just have some clear cups of water and some empty cups that we're gonna do our mixing in. So I'm just going to add a few drops of red food coloring. I always love to watch it sort of swirl around in there before it all mixes in. And then yellow food coloring. Swirl that around. And then finally our blue food coloring. All right. So there's a fancy word for all of these colors, the red, yellow, and blue, and they are primary colors. So this is sort of the color palette that we start with. And then when you mix two of these colors together, you get secondary colors. So we're gonna start, I'm gonna move these out of my way. We're gonna start with um, red and yellow. Do you guys know what you get when you mix red and yellow? Well, if you don't, we're gonna find out. 
So I'm going to put a little bit of red in my cup here. And then I'm going to add some yellow. You guys see what color we have? It's kind of orangish, a little bit orange. Yeah, it's much oranger than the red that I have over here. Well, is it? I don't know. We'll add a little bit of red just for fun. All right, so now you can see that it's orange instead of red. All right, so that was fun. That was that one. Now we're going to mix a little bit of blue and yellow. Does anybody know what we get when we mix blue and yellow? I guess we'll find out, right? Add a little bit of blue and then we're going to add the rest of our yellow. Whoa, did you see that? That was a pretty cool color change. You can definitely see that that is green. So when you mix yellow and blue, you get green. Put these over here, our color mixed colors. And then our last color we're going to mix up involves red and blue. So I'm going to add a little bit of blue. Blue is a dark color, so it kind of overtakes. So I'm going to add just a little bit of blue and then we'll add in our red. And you can see that it turned kind of like a really dark purple. Ooh, that's cool. Super dark purple. All right, so we started off with yellow, red, and blue. And now we have purple, orange, and green. So just try this at home. If you have a little bit of food coloring, make sure you get permission from mom or dad or grandma or grandpa before you do this. Um, but it's lots of fun just to try to mix up different colors. And then you can, of course, do what everybody wants to do and mix them all together and find out what you get, which is kind of like a brown color. So that's something interesting that you can try as well. All right, guys, like I said, we are missing you so much. We hope to see you soon. We're Tiny Tales Storytime on Thursdays, and we'll see you next time.